Hello, my name is Ben Oakley and I'm a senior lecturer in sport and fitness at the Open University. We've been involved in this project with Channel 4 called Chasing Perfection and our role as, as uh, academics is to balance the needs of the broadcaster who want to entertain and engage, whereas we perhaps want to inform and educate a bit further. As an academic consultant working on a program, we've got three main areas of input. Firstly, we can suggest places or people or organisations that they interview. Secondly, we can have an input to the type of questions that are asked, but the real crucial bit is in the voiceover. We have a huge uh, opportunity to input words, phrases, and frame how uh, particular topics are, are introduced. There are four things we wanted to get into these programmes, and that links to a module we're making at the moment called Contemporary Issues in Sport and Fitness. And the first one was about wearable technology and all the digital data that is being absorbed and used by athletes in, in their training and development. So that was one theme. The second theme was all about recovery. How do athletes recover after they've exercised? The science of sleep, how do ice baths work? or not work, but how do they help people and how does compression garments and similar ideas help people recover for the next bout of ex exercise. The third point we wanted to get into the programme was some dialogue and discussion about early childhood specialisation in sport. There's an increasing trend that uh, people play sport year round in one sport from a young age and we wanted to look at the, the risks and rewards of that approach. The final aspect we wanted to cover, above all this talk of technology and science, was the, the focus on the mind, and psychology is something the Open University is well known for. So we wanted to consider, and for Michael Johnson to discuss, how uh, he and others have handled pressure and how they have managed their emotions in these high intensity situations. I think these four factors and a range of other discussions, which I haven't mentioned, uh, really make for a, an interesting programme and they're going to be really useful for engaging our students.